You just sprayed a whole lot of gas in my face. I sure did. Kick that, kick that. Gun hits, gun hits, gun hits. Yeah, yeah. That's the loudest sound on the battlefield when you spray gas in someone's face. <laughs> <sighs> <Not. laughs> well, that guy's dressed like a sailor. Bro, he ran around with nothing but an ice cream scoop and a bottle of BBs last week. Well, just ice scooping BBs at people? Yes. Yeah, he was giving out BBs. Like, for like, he was like the reinforcement. He literally put, put an ice cream scoop full of BBs and threw it at And he got a surprising number of people out. Interesting. Just the shock and awe factor alone. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'd see that come out and I'd be like, you know all, what? Of all the things that you prepared for mentally, that was not one of them. Yeah, an ice no, cream scoop. Yeah. Like, I could see that being a melee weapon. Oh, he's got a gun this week. I melee someone. With an ice cream scoop? Yeah. See, what you need, you need to get a big cookie. You know, with the Ahoy there, Chips Ahoy. Yeah. Or get the black BBs and call them Chips and Ahoy. Yeah. You can make a joke out of it. There's a joke in there somewhere. I have a question. What? Are you Adventures in Airsoft? Yes, I am. Yes, I knew it. How's it going, bud? Big fan. What's your name? Uh, my name is Ronnie. Ronnie, good to meet you. You'll be in the video probably. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get you in it. I'm still figuring out angles and everything. Oh, yeah. Title it Little Kid Wrecks channel. Whole Entire Team for the first time in his life. Hey, that's easy. Tell you, dude, those kids, you know, they'll pop out of nowhere and they'll gank you. I hope all of them are going straight to the maze. Good. All right, let's do this. Right on the corner there. Use a shield. Shield on the left corner, maze. Shield, left corner, maze. There. Oh, hit! Good hit, bud. Ah, I was tripping over this dang branch. Thank you for the heads up, though. Well, the don't. Whoa. I'm gonna reload a picture. Okay. okay. Whoa. Sniper hill. Who's dead? We got two of them. Sniper hill is down. In the woods, yeah. That's a double KO, baby. We got someone behind that tree by the black barricade. Okay. okay. Nice little black barricade. Guys, be careful of the maze. I see it shaking. I think that was me actually shooting. Try not to hit the wood. Please. Why did everybody get so quiet? Shoot them! Middle, middle, middle. Shoot the ball! Game over! Mags out, boys. I declare that a win. Um, this is the center of the field. Yeah, it's the perfect temperature for that, eh? Yeah. It looks good. That's wool? Yeah, it's wool. Yeah, I really like the buttons on it. Yeah. Well, that's what I like about... You know, because this uniform would have been issued about 1908. Yeah. Um, so back then they had more money. Yeah. Uh, and they didn't see a need to just mass issue uniforms, so they would have put extra buttons on the cufflinks and the backside too. Interesting. And then they had an in-between, uh, which is about the 1912 uh, tunic. Ah. This is where they cut back on the buttons. And then they ended up having turn backs, which is kind of like that, except it's flipped up. So, oh, okay. No, so you would have taken this and flipped it down, so then you could actually like stick something in there. Oh, you're talking about the old look, the real old one. I don't, I don't know about what they did in World War II. World War One. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The real hmm. old look. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But I prefer the early War One just because it looks better. Yeah. Give me the this way. Yeah. Is that like an officer's uniform? Yeah. They wouldn't wear that in a battle, right? Oh, they would. They would? Yeah. Okay. You gotta this make is your parade uniform. Known out there so I can uh, the, the Nazis, this is what they would have considered a parade uniform. And the Imperial Germans thought that this was just perfectly fine. I, I agree with them, actually. Oh, yeah. That's more Civil War style, you know? Like, you'd go in there with in, on your best, because you're going to die. You want to die in your best your best clothes, you know? Bob down. See, the World War II German uniform like that, I would do. I would do that. No, that's World War One. What? Uh, sorry. Yeah. I do not want to do a World War Two no, one. I, I want to do World War One. No. I think only certain people can get away with the World War Two one. Yeah. 
Well, we got a few of them here. My great grandfather. Yeah, you're good. Just like the helmets back then. Yeah. Uh, how it's shaped. It's like one of those uh, old fashioned point helmets. What oh, they, yeah. What they thought this yeah. was for is that if you're in the field and cavalry come after you, that it would deflect off the spike. Oh, I thought it was so they could use it to stab someone in the trench warfare. Well, because no. this was first, the pickle hobble was first created in 1848. Oh, really? It uh, served all the way through 1916 before the Stalin came along and then uh, they started outfitting with those. Interesting. But yeah, because this is just leather and then brass. Yeah, because I remember in school them talking about how in the trenches they were getting the points shot off. Yeah, so eventually they took them off. Yeah. And then what they would do, and I don't have a cover like that, but they would have a cover that just essentially had that, but it was a solid circle and it'd sit on top. Yeah. Rather than the point, because like if you cut this off, then it's just exposed. Yeah. So they would have like with these little guys on Are you talking about the cannonball? Because it was only for uh, auxiliary units. Yeah, no, 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 they would take a cover and put it on top. Oh, nice. So it's like a piece of fabric that's circular to go over the base. Interesting. Gotcha. All right, let's do this. Yeah, what? All right, I hear people shooting inside. Oh, yeah. Look who gets shot. Hey, Drew. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. We're looking pretty good here. Thank you. All right, let's move into the maze here, boys and girls. All right. Where's that flag to red? We're red. Are we red or blue? We are red. Put both of them up. Put all of them up. Screw it. How's it looking over here? It's looking great. Looking great? Oh. A leaf fell on me and freaked me out. There's about seven people now shooting through that one hole. Yeah, it's not surprising. Watch our right and our left. They're probably going to try to push. Good long run. Love the helmet. can't shoot too low, man. Yeah, push on up, push on up. I got a cover here. Oh, All right, I'm gonna cross. Move it. All right, let's get one more purse on the left here. Yeah, we got people on the corner. Yeah, let's. Max has that cover pretty well. Oh, ricochet. Whoop. Ow. I think I'm hit. <laughs> I don't know. That hit my thumb really hard. Yeah, you know, I'm about to pull out my pocket machete and cut that thing down. I hear you. I keep hitting my head on it, dude. Try snipping it. Snipping. Yeah, snipping. Snipping. It's a German snip. Good call, brother. I think. Oh, did I get hit? Was that ricochet? Oh, ricochet. Okay. I got me my love handle, so it's smart. Yo. Okay. Yeah, I can hear him. Good call, brother. Good call. Might do it again. There's a dead man walking out. Yo, friendly fire. Let's stay away from people's crotchular regions. Please. I got shot there so many times. Uh, let's get more in the maze. More in the maze. Come on, guys. All the fire I'm going to clear this side. Guys, watch my side. Defend the position. Go, 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 go. You just sprayed a whole lot of gas in my face. Are you sure? Yeah. Take that! Take that! Gun hits! Gun hits! Gun hits! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm just shooting your barrel for fun. I shot Drew with gas. Yeah. You, you know what? Out. I'll call that. I'll call that. No, 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 that no, was no, fair. No, I'm, I'm you're joking. right. No, you're right. You have me right in the face. You're right. Knockout gas. <laughs> hey, at least it didn't smell bad. <laughs> No, he, it, it's fair. He, he just blew gas right in my face and I shot him. So, uh, I mean, he would have got me. It's just fair. It's just, fair. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> That's the loudest sound on the battlefield when you spray gas in someone's face. 
Well, <sighs> are we still going? Oh, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good. Wow, so many people over here. All right. Move back. I gotta go. You good? Hey, hey, he's in the crowd. He's up there. I'm gonna need more albums. Move up, move up. Hey, Drew, Drew, Drew. Right here. Sorry, hey. didn't mean to hey. Hey. Guys. Hey, hey. Calm down! Go take a respawn! It is not worth it! They're plastic BBs, people! Jeez. I'm moving. Whoa. Same team. You, I think I shot you. My man, I saw him pointing a pistol at me. <laughs> You're good. You're good. It's it's complicated in the maze, bro. Have to use your thinking brains. Behind you, behind you, Drew, behind you. Oh, good parlay, bud. Good parlay. Good parlay. Did I get your face? You okay? <clears throat> that was good. How are we doing in the maze? We got some of it. Damn, bro. Oh, hit. Good hit, buddy. Good hit. All right, quick battery change. And boil. Holy vey. Game over. Bags out, boys. Right when I had changed to a fresh battery, too.